Collectors, we got Buzz Lightyear Plastic Model Kit from Disney Pixar Toy Story 4 and it's from Bandai. This kit doesn't require glue, no painting, all you need is some scissors or some clippers or nippers. This is more of a detailed Buzz Lightyear, just look at those articulation, those poses. You got expression parts, you got the eyes can move freely, and he has three faces. We got this around for about $40. Here's your barcode, your serial number. This is more for the older toy collector. I mean, he has a lot of choking hazard. It took us about three hours to build. They also have Woody and it's sold separately. He's probably the next one we're going to get. Box is 12.9 inches by 7.4 and 3.8 inches thick. So let's go ahead and get started. So first we got his face and his dome. Then you have his feet and head. We got the green accents and his joints on the other side. We have the hands, the jetpack, and on the other side, we got the stickers. We have the abs, the torso, and then we got the base. Comes with this nice manual here. Kind of want to frame this actually. You got your instruction here, how to put them all together, clip it, and assemble it, and install it. Other side, got the body, got the wing, and you got the head. Look at those action poses, can't wait to try some. Check out more of their stuff on their website. We have two pieces for his helmet. Other option hands would be the closed fist. And his other two facial expression. We have the base here for his stand. You have that peg to put his feet. And if you have Woody, you can connect his base as well too. Now we have Buzz Lightyear. Let's go ahead and check him out. So he has more of a glossy finish compared to like the Thinkway Toy Signature Collection, a flat green. This one's pretty shiny. You have stickers here for his button. They are not painted. They don't press or click. Same as the laser, but a nice feature here is the wings do pop out when you press it. So let's go ahead and try it. Now sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. These wings are supposed to expand as well or to pop out as well when you pop the wings. Let's go ahead and try that again. Maybe it's just a little stuck. Yeah, kind of loosen it up. Let's try it again. There, that's better. Now at the edge of his wings, it would be nice if they had like colored one red, one green plastic here. It's just clear. So it doesn't seem like it has any bulbs on it or it doesn't look like it has bulbs. Now if you notice here on the Danger Jet exhaust, we notice in the box, we have the red accent. This one doesn't. We thought we were missing stickers. But when we look at the manual or the instruction, we saw it that the completed product in the image has been painted. So these guys has been painted. That's why, for example, like the button looks crisp and clear. Compared to what we have here, you have those stickers. The bottom there doesn't even line up. They could add maybe at least like a sticker, put some red stickers in there. And to put it back in, you gotta press these buttons again and just put it down. Let's continue with his body here. Let's go with the shoulder. Now these, I like the most. They pop out. Oh, not like that. Let's go with his arms here. Now one thing we notice is that this is definitely not for playing. You could pose it a lot, but the parts he easily just come off. So you kind of have to watch. It gets a little frustrating when you're trying to pose them. But with that being said, look at the reach on that. This is something I wish Thinkway Toys or Disney Store would do. Make your shoulders pop out more. Then you got your arms here. Now this turns around. Oh man. So his arms can twist this way. You got an elbow bend about 90 degrees. Got your hand here to twist. Now the hand is just it's open. It doesn't move. The fingers or the index doesn't move. But you can't swap it for the fist. 
So to swap it, you just kind of pull this out. It's on the ball joint. Now you got the fist. Let's take a look at his wrist communicator. You could have it close or open. Yes. There you go. And it just says Gamma Sector 4. See how easy it comes off? Oh man. That's one thing we don't like. Now the other arm's the same thing, same rotation, same articulation. This laser button doesn't press. Also got the hand here that you can swap for the fist. Ooh. Man, everything's just coming off easy. These are one of the things that I like. Look at the reach on that. You can actually press the buttons. Let's go down to his torso here. Now there's no, it's not really an ab crunch. I mean, it moves a little bit, but it's just because it's loose. And then his stomach here, it's just a solid plastic, it's not rubber. And there is a hip twist. Let's go down to his legs. Now you can move his legs up and down that way. You can do more of a split. Now we're trying to be careful on this side. We actually broke this piece right here. We had to use glue. Oh no, it's this side right here that we have to be careful. As you can see we broke that not sure if you can see the glue you got a thigh twist knee bends your foot can go up and down now they have the sticker for bonnie or andy we decided not to use it i just like it plain and clean like this no owner now we say the best feature for last is face expression now his head can twist also have this much movement But it does come off easily. So I just go ahead and put it there. You got two pieces for the helmet. You have the two tab that goes on these two holes here. Just go ahead and put it on. Let's put the other piece. You can have it close. Now I just wish this was just wasn't even added in here. I mean I'm not sure what it's for. To help it open, you can't really even open it either. Wish it would just like a radius there rather than having that thing coming out. Or you can just have it halfway like this open. For us, just like taking it off, it looks cleaner. To change his facial expression, you just kind of have to dig your fingernails in there. Between this face, kind of pull it off. It's held by these two pegs here. It goes on his face down there. So to rotate his eyes, you just kind of go ahead and move it left to right, up and down. So with this facial expression here, you can, this is, I think this is the best one they have because you can move his eyes up, down, like left to right. You can even have him cross-eyed if you want, make it silly. Up, oh, one could go down. So this is like the stunned look or the shock face. Next one you have the grin or like the confident look that Buzz Lightyear usually do. So for this one, the difference on the eye movement here, on your right, the right eye, you can just go left and right. So you can see it has that, that flat edge on the top. So you can only move his eyes sideways that way and that way. You can't make it look up and down. This one you can on the other eye. On the other eye you can move it. Now you got that grin look or the confident face. Look at me I'm Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger. And with this one, you can only rotate his eyes left to right because you have that, you have that limiting, you got that, that, that flat edge there limits his eye movement. So for this one, you could just go, ooh, it's actually hard to move. This one, I'm actually having a little bit of issue moving his eyeballs. It's very difficult to, oh man, look at that. It's moving it so much, the sticker actually move his eye. There, let's fix it back up. So we're going to leave this as is. I don't want to, 
I don't want to ruin it, especially you got that nice look. So we'll just leave that stationary, but technically you can just move it left to right. So you got the Sirius or Mad Face Space Ranger. So this Buzz Lightyear stands at about 5.5 inches tall and around 4 inches wide. So with this wing fully extended, it's about 5.5 inches wide. Now I just want to show you guys the size comparison next to our Dynamic Action Buzz Lightyear. Now we're going to do a comparison on this Buzz, but we're going to save that for another video. Just wanted to show you guys the height. It also comes with his base here and the peg here for his foot. So you can easily stand him. You don't have to worry about him falling down. You can do a lot of poses. Let's go ahead and do some action poses with this Buzz Lightyear. And he's coming pose. We'll call it just a Spanish buzz pose. To come in, start command pose. The air not breathable pose. The Zerk I am your father pose. The two infinity I can fly pose. Be careful if my laser goes off pose. Robot buzz pose. Fight mode buzz. Zombie buzz pose. Scary Buzz Pose The Matrix Neo Pose So let us know in the comments below which pose you guys like. Collectors, unite!